Hey everyone, my name is Beth and I am one half of Dichotomous Gaming and I will be bringing you some info about the July 10th update for the Attack on Titan tribute game by Fang Li. There are a few new features and a few things that still haven't been updated. There's still no leaderboard, unfortunately, and there's still no way to do a LAN connection for a server. But since these things haven't been available for the previous version as well as this one, we're really not missing all that much yet. With the server list, there are a few new cool features. When you go into the list, there is now a filter field in the left-hand corner of the menu. This feature can be used to more easily get to servers that your friends have set up. Um, it'll be a lot nicer than just having to click back endlessly until you found your server among the 40-page list like we've had to do. Another new feature is the addition of a password field when creating a new server. This will allow you to prevent random guests and players from entering games that you want to play with your friends. If you like the random guests, then leave it blank and leave room open for those friends that you haven't met yet. There are a few new maps, although some of them aren't quite as new as you think. There's been the addition of two Trost maps, one with a respawn and one without. These two maps are actually bringing back two levels that were available on a previous version of the game. Both of these maps are about protecting a Titan Aaron as he tries to fill the hole in the wall of Trost. This level is a good one to play with friends, but a little bit more challenging to play on your own. Both of these maps are available only in the multiplayer section. There are two brand new maps, the first of which is available in both multiplayer and single player. This is the racing map, called Racing Akina. This map is full of blue-gray walls and yellow arrows that tell you where to go. The race begins off with the map being blocked by a yellow wall. Once the countdown is finished, you're free to go off and try to make your way through this maze-like map as quickly as possible. The map starts easily with only a few twists and turns to trip you up, but eventually starts adding in obstacles and dangerous items that you will need to swing around. Don't touch anything red or you'll turn into a cloud of blood, but the respawn will put you back on the nearest safe spot so you can keep going. There are various green canisters scattered throughout the map, and with them around, I have never had an issue with running out of gas since they refill you all the way to the top. This map looks like a fun challenge to do with friends or just to improve your own maneuvering abilities and challenge yourself. Either way, I'm going to love this map and use it to practice getting around more easily. The last map is called Outside the Walls. It is made for a PvP style of gameplay. There's one end of the map where the humans will spawn and another where player titans will. This is basically capture the flag with titans and horses. That's right. There's horses in this map. They definitely pick up speed and can be difficult to maneuver, but they will help you move from place to place really fast. Now the flags that I've been talking about are glowing beacons of light. If a soldier stands in one long enough, it will produce a gas refilling station. If a titan gets there, then it spawns another titan. You go back and forth taking over and killing titans and humans until someone is an obvious victor. This map definitely looks like something I will be able to enjoy with my friends. Besides, hooking onto a titan and launching yourself off your horse is way too much fun. Speaking of player titans, it looks like there's been an update to which titans you can pick. It gives you an option now of a jumper or random, but I haven't seen it change too much really. There's another thing that will prevent player titans from perpetually being a, that pain in the ass that you hate. There's a gauge now at the bottom, and as you jump, smash, and flop, the meter lowers, preventing player titans from perpetually just flopping onto humans without a break. Once the bar is low enough, the player titan will not perform the attack no matter how many times you try to make him do it. Once the bar recharges back up, though, the player titan will be right back at it again. As an update, this promises a good future for this game. There are more and more fun things for you to do with friends, and I can't wait to bother my friends to play this with me. Sam is going to be uploading her own video about the update soon, but since she's still in Japan, she has made me make this video to give you a little bit more info about it. Anyways, have fun slaying titans out there, and remember to not trust your friends. It could save a life. Just a small note. Um, there's one thing that I got wrong and one thing that I didn't mention. The one thing that I got wrong is that the green gas canisters don't seem to really improve your gas, and maybe I was just doing really good when I was playing. The thing to add is that there seems to be a multiplier bar that has appeared when fighting titans. You can see it several times when I'm fighting. Um, I'm not too sure if it actually increases your score or what, and I haven't gotten it good enough where I can get up past 
casual and deja vu. So, we'll see.